what I'm about to tell you is very, very key to understanding the born-again experience. We talked about this this week, about this little man named Zacchaeus, who climbed up in a sycamore tree to see Jesus. He climbed up there as a lost man, a man who was seeking, but he was lost. He was a little lost man. But he came down out of that tree as a little born-again man. Something happened up on that tree. And I'm just declaring that it was the born-again experience. Something happened in his heart spiritually. And as I said, what is key to this is what we find in the Gospel of John, in the third chapter, the third verse, it says, you cannot see the kingdom of God without being born again. Now, you might say, well, see the kingdom of God. In other words, you'll, you'll never get to go to heaven. But it's interesting to me that in verse number five, Jesus says, born of water and of the spirit, Unless he is born of the water and the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So you see the distinction here. At first he said, you cannot see the kingdom of God. And then later he says, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. And I'm just believing that what Jesus is saying, that without the born again experience, without that spiritual awakening, you, you can't see the kingdom of God. And if you can't see the kingdom of God, then you cannot understand the kingdom of God. And you can't understand people who are a part of the kingdom of God. And when people do things that are good and loving their neighbor and they're, they're being patient and kind and all the fruits of the Spirit, and they see a person behaving that way, they don't understand it. It's why are these people this way? Because when you're not born again and when you're out there living in the world, living in the flesh, all you want to do is you want to feed the flesh, just like Zacchaeus was. He wanted to get rich, and he wanted to get rich, and he wanted to get richer. And and, and I, I know I'm interjecting some things, and I, I'm taking some liberties. I understand that, but I believe that this was a man who, because of his little stature, that he had self-esteem issues, that he didn't care who he walked on to get where he wanted to get because it was all about himself and his own building up of his own prestige and self-importance because that's what the flesh does. The flesh is flesh. The scripture says it's flesh, and it will always be flesh. But what happens in the spirit counteracts all of that. Different set of behaviors because now you see the kingdom of God. And when you see the kingdom of God, it opens up a whole new perimeter to you. It opens up a whole new world to you. And you begin to see things in a much bigger picture and a greater understanding of spiritual things. And uh, like I said, it just causes the things of this world to just lose its luster and lose its significance. And it just loses its importance. Because now we see the glories of God's kingdom. It's a spiritual world and it requires spiritual understanding. And I believe that, that if Jesus had just spoke to Nicodemus, something flooded his soul. Like the old song says, and the heaven came down and glory filled his soul. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.